this is Nemo. Uh, she dives to 610 metres. She's powered by electrical main propulsion, uh, which you can see on the back there. Uh, we've got two main propulsion units on the back. Uh, we've also got uh, side thrusters, which are hydraulic power. Uh, we've got bow and stern thrusters as well, which are also hydraulic power. Down the side, we've got some trim weights. Uh, we use these for gaining different angles to allow us to mate to submarines that are at different angles. We were up in Norway at the beginning of the year. It was about minus 20 air temperature, so it was, it was pushing the limits then. We're here now, sun's out, it's more like 40 degrees, it's a bit hotter now. Uh, she can handle that, no problem. This is our dry mating skirt uh, and the seal underneath. So this is what actually creates the, the seal onto the submarine. Uh, you've got a, a lip seal here, a double lip seal there. Uh, when we thrust down onto the, the submarine, it will pump some water from inside the skirt out to sea. And that creates a, a differential pressure and energises this little seal. So for every, roughly for every 10 metres of water depth that we're operating in, there's about 18 tonnes of, of sealing force that's holding us on. That's all that's holding us on. There's no chains, bolts, anything. It's just the, the differential pressure that holds us on. Fairly open, no issue. OK, so we've just come into the rescue chamber from hatch one there. That's basically where you would come from the submarine straight into a rescue chamber. Uh, can take 12 rescues at the moment. Uh, so you can see with 12 people in here, we're quite, a, quite crammed in, uh, but probably better than a situation of where they might have come from. Um, sit here, shut hatch one again, go back to the surface, and then from there we'll transfer the rescues into the TUP through the hatch at the back of the submarine there. You okay? Yeah. So this is coming into the front of the boat, into the command module, uh, coming through what we call hatch three. So from hatch three back in the rescue chamber, that's sealed off, and that part of the boat can be under pressure. Uh, the front part of the boat can't that's, really uh, see internal pressure at all. Roger, you are loud and clear. Also, Nemo, depth, two, five metres. Nemo out. As first pilot, you would sit at the front here and control uh, from the front once you've actually dived. There's two crew in the boat. We've got a second pilot and a pilot. Uh, so this is their main control panel for operating when we dived. Two main joysticks. One controls all the thrusters so we can thrust up or down, we can move the whole boat, port or starboard and it's got a twisty knob on the top as well and we can use that to just pivot the boat round on its on its centre axis. Two main electric propulsion units on the back, Navigation. forward and a stern and then again port and starboard it uses it will give you one going ahead and one going astern again that just pivots the, the head of the boat around. Uh, and the little pot on the top of this one uh, that controls your hydraulic steering at the back, which moves the whole units, uh, port or starboard. We've got yeah, five cameras in the boat. We've only got three monitors, so we can pick three that we're, we're looking at. So we've got uh, one camera that's in the rescue chamber, uh, which we can keep an eye on what's going on in the back there. We've got one camera that's in the centre of the skirt looking down. We've got one that's almost next to the skirt that's looking out in front of the boat and seeing the kind of belly of the sub and uh, the other one is uh, pointing looking it's as if the, from the pilot's point of view it's as if you're looking through your legs underneath the boat and looking at the skirt and that gives you that view apart from all of it <laughs> ah, it's got to be being pilot it's got when you're when your pilot's good although p2 is probably the busiest in the boat when you're being p2 it's there's more to do you look around you He's operating the sonar, the life support, all the trim and ballast systems, underwater comms, all the gas systems round about him. So it's a busy, busy place and it's a busy job. I've done a lot of good dives. We've got some, done some really good dives this week. Uh, the visibility's been good. The, there's been virtually no current, so it's quite easy diving. Uh, but I know some of the deep dives are good because it's, it's a long way down. 
I don't have a favourite. I can't answer that. That's horrible. 